another 30 minute musing oh yeah why not it's only sunday what are we at i believe it's august 2nd huh you're kidding me it also means we got a week left a week to the day till the nfl preseason starts with the hall of fame game what was it pittsburgh and minnesota i believe good lord well we got that lined up football right around the damn corner which as you all know and that means halloween costumes well those are already available on shelves no bullshit i went shopping at some point god was it this week or last weekend Ooh wee i'd have maybe i got a receipt lying around so i could verify for sure but it was still july <laughs> today being sunday august 2nd it was still july and sure to shit, I saw uh, Halloween costumes, you know, the little kid ones. When I went shopping my ass at Costco, I actually saw Halloween costumes. July. Now picture that. Okay, July 4th. It's not even a month after Independence Day, and we got Halloween shit all up and ready. Not in full, but it's there, it's available. Jesus Christ. Terrible, isn't it? Oh, by the way, to go back to a couple of things I was mentioning, on my way into work Friday, oh yeah, maybe Saturday I'll, you know, do a little bit of this, get a good workout, play the guitar. Um, not so much of that happened. I blasted quickly through an upper body workout, quickly, meaning I burnt myself out. And uh, did not play the guitar at all. <laughs> not surprised, knowing me. It's something I kind of like doing, but I never apply myself to. Kind of like shooting pool or playing chess. I like it, but I'm not that good at it. And I don't know why I like it if I'm not that good at it. But just one of those things. Well, did anybody happen to catch that Ronda Rousey? Uh, that wasn't even a fight. I mean, she just, she just knocked that girl out. She did. It was so funny. Well, there's a couple things about that. Had a, had a kind of impromptu production meeting last night. And that was just part of the festivities. As the night got rolling, we figured, well, shit, you know, we got a bunch of that stuff taken care of. Let's, uh, let's check in on this, on this UFC pay-per-view. Let's check in on it took place in Rio, I believe it was Rio, in Brazil nonetheless, it might have been Rio, I could be off, took place in Brazil, started at 10 p.m. Eastern time here, oh man, lasted till forever, seriously, there were so many, that they call them undercard fights, or it's like, the main event was, was the women's fight, that's how insane this was, and I mean, nothing against, you know, the, the men fighters, of the UFC, but for Christ's sakes, when your main event features one of your women's champions, women, yeah, because I think they have other women's champions, just Ronda Rousey is the obvious standout one, still undefeated, by the way, with last night being 12-0, and 0. this chick, damn, very impressive. But, but going back to the, sorry, the undercard, it was nothing but Brazilians versus Brazilians. And I mean, like, I don't know how many fights into it, like, uh, could just me and the guys sitting around, we're thinking like, all right, when the hell is this when Rousey, Ronda Rousey, when is she going to fight? When is she going to fight? There must have been, I don't know, I'm not joking when I say like eight undercard fights, like even a boxing pay-per-view. Like, uh, I go back to the Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather fight. What was that like? Somewhere in May, I want to say. Early, early-ish May. Jesus Christ. That had like, what, maybe three undercard fights? And that's okay, I suppose. Because granted, they, uh, that, that just seems to flow a lot better, and every, everybody was waiting for, for Mayweather Pacquiao, everybody was waiting for that fight, and I mean, honestly, three pre-fights is not that bad, 
for the, the main event that you want to see, especially from a bunch of guys you don't know. With mixed martial arts, MMA, or the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, I forget exactly what the letters are for. <laughs> but when you have, like, eight undercard fights, holy shit, that wears on you. I don't care that it's only three rounds and they're five minutes apiece. When you want to get to the main event and you don't know who these other people are, like, that just, that's draining. I mean, that's at least... But what do they give them in between rounds? One minute? So that's like a that's 15 minutes worth of fighting per fight. Jesus. I mean, that's just a lot of goddamn... It's a lot of time eating up for guys we don't know and might never see again. And, you know, I was joking that somewhere along the way, like, I think we were on our sixth or seventh uh, undercard fight. And, and we're all just kind of rolling our eyes. It's getting late. We're all just like, my God, how many more, you know, okay, well, we're about six fights in. I think we got, like, you know, 38 to go. And, you know, I made the joke, dude, it's a Brazilian versus a Brazilian. And this one is a Brazilian versus a Brazilian. And this one is a Brazilian versus a Brazilian. I just made the joke, like, well, it seems like all of Brazil is going to fight each other tonight. So I don't know how many millions of people they got in Brazil, but we're going to be here till about, you know, week 14 of the NFL schedule by the time the Rousey fight starts just terrible but alas and you know what happened all that fucking waiting and I'm not surprised and I'm not angry it, it's more so I got a rip on all you know everything else before that but all that undercard shit all that goes on takes forever takes forever Ronda Rousey knockout 34 seconds undefeated 12-0 and retains her title this chick is bad ass I mean, there's no surprise. I mentioned it on a uh, <laughs> on a separate uh, little podcast that I do, the As I Sit Here podcast. Actually, I don't even know if that was a part of it. But it was part of my WrestleMania 31 overview. Because I had a, a preview just of the matches and the people in it and all that stuff. My overview, which I believe I have on my YouTube channel. Ronda Rousey has a career with WWE whenever she decides to give up the the ultimate fighting, the mixed martial arts, whatever you want to call it. When that's done, she has character. She has stage and camera presence. She's got all of that. She was there for WrestleMania 31. She can make shit happen. She's got a look. She, she has a, a sort of you can just tell. When she walks out to the ring, she she's all business. And she's got that BMF walk. A, a, what, what, you, a, what is that? BMF, a bad motherfucker walk. A swagger to the way she's walking to the ring. A saunter. A look of determination. That's the BMF walk. And she's got it down to a T. She was almost fast walking down to the ring. And because everybody on that fucking card was Brazilian except her pretty much, I mean like I said there might have been one or two that I totally forgot about or maybe I missed the intro I know the big white guy that I was talking about uh, actually we we did a little bit of recording last night for it uh, the big white guy who was trying to, instead of jabbing with a, with a fist, he was kind of he was jabbing with his foot just kind of a straight kick to his opponent that big son of a bitch, he must have been like, I don't know, 6'6", six, 6'8". Six, six, he was a tall dude. Uh, don't know if he was Brazilian because he seemed to... We had the volume turned down for our recording, so, you know, we want to comment on what's happening in the octagon, in the ring, if you will. That dude, I believe, was speaking just good, clean English, did not need the interpreter for nothing. Everybody else on that card was Brazilian. Even the chick that Ronda Rousey knocked the fuck out in 34 seconds. Even she's Brazilian. So as Ronda's walking her way to the octagon, to the ring, she's getting booed. Because this Brazilian chick, and my God. All right, I got a big nose. This chick got a big fucking nose. Gonna have to look that one up. And I forgot her Her name's... Uh, God. Her name almost sounds... I, I, forgive me if I'm wrong. Her name sounds like bitch. <laughs> Sa- 
something like that. Rich, so I forgot, and her first name, forgot what her last name was, doesn't matter, the, the Brazilian chick with the big nose, I thought Brazilians were supposed to have big booties, you know, now she was put together, just couldn't get over that pterodactyl sized beak she had, I'm surprised Rhonda didn't bust that thing open and crush the fucking thing, easy target. But of course, you know, for these fights, there's always a lot of, you know, talk and smack and all that. It's, it's interesting to see women in a capacity like this. And it's not just boxing. And it's not just, you know, chick wrestling. You know, this is like real deal. I'm not saying the boxing ain't. But I mean, other than uh, Layla Ali, I couldn't name you one other female boxer in the history of the damn sport. Now, same can kind of be said for uh, for mixed martial arts. Other than Ronda Rousey, I don't know another chick fighter. I don't. Don't know. But I'll tell you, if there's one to pay attention to, if you ain't, if you don't even know who the name is by this point, I cannot help you. Cannot help you. It doesn't get, you know, the, the glamour so much as like a, uh, you know, women's tennis and you got the Williams sisters. Well, you, you get names through, across the other sports. Hell, even women's golf, you get the, you get a name every, I don't know, six to eight years. But with this... Yeah, Ronda Rousey is that chick. Excuse me as I'm weaving through traffic. And there's a Minnesota license plate. Sorry, but I did see a New York plate earlier. Just uh, wasn't thinking to say. That's the game I play. What states will Mike see? I was surprised I saw California the other day. At any rate transitional phrase of choice. Uh. Yeah, Ronda Rousey don't put that girl out in 34 seconds. Basically punched her like right, kind of right on the ear. And that girl, I think the lights were out before she even hit the floor when she crumbled in a heap in 34 seconds. I mean, done. And she talked all this shit, personal shit, during all the pre-fight stuff. But Ronda Rousey, no, just came out there, business, 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 and took 34 seconds. Now, Ronda's thing, and I will say, Rowdy, <laughs> Ronda Rousey, yep, Roddy Piper gave her permission to use the nickname Rowdy. <laughs> And right after the fight, she, she gave a shout-out. Also, shout-out to her dad, but that was part of the, uh... That was part of the smack that that Brazilian chick was talking. You don't do that kind of shit. That was dumb. And it caught, hey, 34 seconds. But Rousey's thing, uh, is generally to put somebody in an arm bar, an arm breaker, like a submission hold. That's generally her way to get people to, like, she makes them tap out, give up. This chick, she just knocked the fuck out of her. In her own country, in Brazil, everybody's behind you. It, it had to be, I mean, no joke based on crowd response. That damn thing had to be, I don't know, 70-30? But, I mean, there was, there was a collection of booing going on. When Rodna stepped out. I mean, that shit was, it was good to see them, because I love the crowd reaction like that. I still say, in all of sports, the best two sounds in all of sports, number one is the roar of the crowd. I don't care if it's cheering or booing, because that shit resonates. The other, this my second favorite sound in all of sports is, uh, and I'm not a baseball lover, but the crack of a bat hitting a ball. Just that, that crack with that little hint of an echo. I don't know, for me, that's the best. 
well, there, there are other things. There's a, a beautiful three-point shot, and all you'll hear is the snap of the twine on a, on a great shot. Uh, another thing where, and it has to work, this can happen frequently, but it only works well with a goal. In hockey, the ping, the puck off the post. Just some of the better sounds in all the sports. Hey, football's got plenty of sounds. A lot of that plastic on plastic, you know, shoulder pads and helmet running into shit. Yeah, that has its place. But Roar of the Crowd is number one. And last night, Roar of the Crowd, hey, Brazil, they wanted their girl to win. She was undefeated too at the time. At the time. Uh, not anymore. Only took 34 seconds. I mean, I said afterwards, because, you know, you you, you kind of lose track. I'm like, dude, that wasn't even two minutes. The guys, I'm sitting around there like, that. no, that wasn't even that, not at all. And I look 34, I'm like, wow, that wasn't even one fucking minute. Georgia plate coming up here. I kind of got to get over to that lane. I'm going to throw down some coffee when I get into work, too. Not that I'm tired. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I did the other night. Woke up, uh, well, I slept in like a sumbitch yesterday. Probably why I blasted through a workout really quick. You know, impromptu uh, production meeting kind of snuck up. I was like, shit, let me just blast out really quick push-ups and pull-ups. Like a motherfucker, get through it. I can. I didn't take the uh, the needed subsequent breaks. I just kind of blasted through rather quickly, which is why I petered out and didn't get the full workout in. But I had, you know, no time to play the guitar. Workout, shower up, a little bit of food, throw that down. Boom, I'm out. I'm out. God damn, look at all these people trying to jump into my lane. Because I got to get over where they're trying to get away from. Because I'm a, I'm a trooper like that. This motherfucker, try rail motherfucker, put your blinker on. Fucking asshole. Put your blinker on so I know you're changing lanes, you fucking prick. Yeah. And then wave when I honk at you. No, put your fucking blinker on. I can anticipate you're changing lanes then. Fuck it. It's kind of a law, you know? God damn. I don't always wish to be a cop, but I wish I wish you could fucking... If I had dash cams, that cocksucker didn't have no thing going. And that big-ass, slow, tri-rail van that he's driving. Caution, frequent stops. Not in the middle of the fucking interstate. And beside that, put your blinker on. Dumb son of a bitch. Yep, this is all live. <laughs> I don't cut and edit this stuff for nothing. God damn, dumb son of a bitch. Kind of lost my spot. Hometown crowd, rooting for the Brazilian chick, booing Ronda Rousey, roar the crowd, the greatest sound in sports. Rousey comes out there and just whoops the shit out of this girl. This half pterodactyl with the giant beak. Took her out in 34 seconds. Boy, I'll go back to it. If I could be a video game, I'd be Grand Theft Auto right about now. Well would have been. <laughs> Pepper that guy's car up a couple of bullet holes. Scared the shit out. Yeah, okay, now that I shot out your taillights, now you can't put on your blinker. But I hope, just like in the games, they, they stop the car, run out, and just run away shrieking in terror. Just to send a message. If I could be a video game, yeah, I need to make that podcast. Well, I'm heading in for a ball game today. I may, uh, Do I swing up that direction? Mm. You know what, I may as well fill up the car when I get done here. 
stuff. You know what else? I need some of that lemon juice that I pour in my water. So yeah, fuck, I'll go to Costco. Hopefully this game don't take forever. If I can get there, I think they close at 6. So I can get my lemon water. That's all I need. <laughs> and then fill up the car. Well, I need to fill up the car, but shit, as so long as I'm there, I'm going to do that too. I'm trying to think of alternative shit to uh, to get along in my diet too, because I was doing yogurt with the with the the hemp hearts. Man, that yogurt! I can't do it. I just can't do yogurt. Can't do it. I don't know what it is. Seriously, I had a couple of. I only had like two spoonfuls the other day, and something just felt wrong. Like it instantly. Not that it tasted bad. It's just I don't have the palate for a fucking yogurt. And damn. Some just seemed weird. I only had like two spoonfuls of that stuff, and all of my stomach started doing something. I'm like, no, I'm mm -mm, throw that shit out right now. Maybe it's bad blueberries. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. If I was a doctor, I would have looked at that Brazilian chick last night and be like, you got knocked the fuck out. Mm. 34 seconds. I mean, good guy. Had you gone to the bathroom, you missed it, literally. I mean, that's no bullshit. I mean, I don't watch as much MMA as I want to, or as I say that I should. Not just because I really don't want to. It's really, it's not one of those things that I, you know, gravitate towards. Although I should. And also soccer, what the rest of the world calls football. I think they're playing today. I saw something on uh, on the ESPN ticker. I'm like Arsenal, Chelsea, something. I don't know. <laughs> the Premier League, though, they're playing. I want to get uh, want to get in on that. Cause it's growing. Two things growing: the uh, the MMA and soccer. And, like, I have no emotional ties to it. It's not like, you know, like, oh, why don't you watch MLS? Because it's the MLS. And, yeah, sure, is, is the Chicago Fire my team? Yeah, I'll wish them the best, but I don't know two shits about them. I don't know one-tenth of a shit about them. If it weren't for FIFA games, video games, I wouldn't have a damn clue. Had no idea that they had Quaker Oats on the fucking front of the jerseys. And maybe they don't this season. I don't know. I have no clue. But they did at one point, correct? And don't they play at, what, what Toyota Field, I think, there in Chicago? It's like west of Lake Michigan. Well, of course, west of Lake Michigan, of course. But aren't they a little ways out of a Soldier Field? By some fucking, uh, looks like they're by some executive airport or some shit. I don't know where, because when I looked at it on a map, briefly, a few months back, that's what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, so I did a little bit of homework on it. Got to do a little homework on MMA as well. Well, shit, I need to do more homework on soccer. Because if I'm going to go with the Premier League, you know, fuck it, maybe I got to go in this just whatever. Take it for what it's worth watch what I can, I don't necessarily need to pick a team, I don't, because, well, fuck, I'm not, I'm nowhere near that stuff, Chelsea, and Arsenal, and Manchester, I, none of that, never even been there, my mom has visited, uh, over there in the UK twice now, hell, I couldn't tell you if she has a, you know, favorite city, favorite region, area, I have no idea, and even still, she don't know shit about soccer, so I can't use her as a reference, but, Mom, what cities did you go to? What areas? What regions? Do, do I pick that way? I don't know. I mean, I don't know who the Dallas Cowboys are of the Premier League. I don't even know how long the Premier League's been going. I mean, I'm sure a lot of those teams have been around for quite some time. Because it's not like soccer is this new sport that's catching on, like, you know, basketball. Remember the 92 Dream Team? Yeah, we walked all over everybody. Since then, we've had to settle for a bronze. The rest of the world kind of caught up quick with that basketball thing. I 
Got just under five minutes left. And I'm getting close, too. I'm close to uh, an old North Perry Airport, West Island Drive. Getting ready to make that turn. But yeah, Premier League, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I mean, just based on the name, Arsenal sounds fucking badass. That sounds great. But I mean, if I forgot who the better ones are, like... Chelsea and Manchester, well, there, what, what, there's Man City and Man U, Manchester, that is, Man City and Man U, and I don't know which one is historically the better one, or the one with the deeper pockets, I don't know, <laughs> not sure all the stars around the league, yeah, but I can watch and enjoy it, and once you start hearing enough names, you'll know. So I can get tuned into that shit. I, I, I do dig it. It's just I don't watch it. I'd never know when that stuff is on. Well, right now, it's Sunday morning, this kind of early, early. But because we're, you know, because here in America, we call it America. Well, you know, Brazil is part of America. It's just South America. Here in the States, certain things I like to be politically correct about. But fuck politics. I'm just being right. Here in the States, us Yanks, as they as they refer to us, and I don't take offense to that. Us Yanks, we like our American football. The gridiron, whatever, the pigskin, whatever you want to call that shit. We enjoy that far more. And on Sundays, sorry Premier League, but well, yeah, I'm going to be working with... Uh, I'm going to be working the, the Dolphins games, the Miami Dolphins. Going to be working those again for the third season in a row. Going to be working those things. So my Sundays going to be occupied with football, American style. Eh, yeah, you know, Premier League shit I want to get into. And it's tough that it crosses over with uh, this American shit we got. Whew. Excuse me. Was that the first yawn of this broadcast? It might have been. Holy shit. Maybe, maybe. But as I got about, oh, two and a half to go here. Getting my ass close, and my clock, looking at uh, about quarter till noon, I think we launch in about an hour for pregame, so I got plenty of time to set up, get my coffee, shoot the shit a little bit, oh, I gotta, uh, gotta check the computers, gotta do a cleanup and a restart on those, just to make sure I get a good full recording, then I got to... Oh man, I don't think I punched in much time for uh, this past week. If Sunday starts this week, I got to punch in time for, well, basically last week. You know, from yesterday back to Monday, that is. Buddy, come on, they're making left turns, you can go. Well, we're winding this thing out here. Just got to say, we're Honda Rousey, whooped the shit out that Brazilian girl in 34 seconds. Didn't really whoop the crap out of her, just the lights went out. Like, if she would have, like, damn near half tortured her, beating the piss out of her, and then in the third round or something, a fifth, well, championship fight, they get five rounds, correct me if I'm wrong, but if at that point she would have got, like, you know, the arm bar thrown on, that, yeah, that would have really been like, don't fuck with me, don't be running shit about my family, don't run your mouth like that, she's probably the best thing going in one-on-one -on -one sports right now, and I don't even think it's close, nothing against Serena, but when there's physical brut you know what brutality was I gonna say <laughs> when here when there's physical fighting going on these uh, what do they call them blood sports if you will that resonates a little better than here's a giant saucer that you won for for beating somebody and bouncing a tennis ball around yeah now Serena's good this motherfucker could have went sitting here at tarpon drive didn't make that left oh well Ronda Rousey, the most rowdy thing going. You know, no bad puns intended, but hey, if if Roddy Piper can say, yeah, take the nickname, this chick definitely, definitely lives up to it. That being said, this has been about a 30-minute musing. We're damn close. Hey, till we meet again, I will catch your ass down the road.